In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in a background image that will be flexible that if you would change the aspect ratio or reduce the size of it, that items like these, as you can see here, the house plan is being still pointed on the right position, for example, the toilet or the dining table. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So in this case, I'll be using a transparent background uh, PNG image of a house plan. We're going to make sure it's flexible enough. So to do that, we first convert it into a scatter chart. So we're going to scroll down here and just say here scatter. And then I'm going to say here X. And then for the scale, we're going to say here uh, begin at zero should be true. Comma, min will be zero. We'll just keep it like that as well. Although they are quite redundant. And I would say here 100. Of course, it depends on the square meters or the, the length in meters or inches that you would have for your house plan. Let's save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have this here. In this case, I will make this a square shape. So I say here, um, aspect ratio will be one. So that will be one to one. And we have a nice square because my house plan is a square. Of course, you will see later on, it will automatically be flexible. Of course, it will give you a quite stretched or compressed image or look. However, don't worry about that. We're going to start working on that now. So the first thing what I want to do now is, or the, the next thing is, of course, create a plugin. We're going to say here we have the house plan image. I guess that's a nice plugin name. They say your constant equals the ID. And we're going to say here the house plan image. They say here before data sets draw. And the reason why is we want to draw this or the background first before we put in the dot. So I say before data sets draw, the chart, arcs, and plugin options. So now we have this, we're going to do an object destructuring. We're going to say here the CTX and the chart area. In this case, the chart area will be crucial. So we're going to say here left, right, uh, width, height, and then top and bottom. Although I'll be only using a few of them, not all of them. And this will be equal to chart. So now we have this here, let's start to create the image. So we have the image here and let's put a point in here. So we have a visual because this is still a scatter chart. So we need to have a point that later on we want to, for example, if there's a dining kitchen or dining table, we want to highlight that area. And we're just going to say here, X will be 10, Y will be 10. I'll just leave it like this for now. We have to put in the item as well. So don't worry about that. So, what we're going to do, we have this here now, but we need to have the background image. So we're going to put in the image here. We have this point here now. Um, what we're going to do is the following. So what we need to do is load the image that we have. And we'll make sure that the image then will have all the height and width dimensions of this item. So let's start to work on that. So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to say a constant image equals new image. And this new image, we're going to say here, image.source to give it a link. And the link will be, of course, the one that I showed you here. It could be anywhere where you put it, doesn't matter. I'll just put it in here for now. Later on, I'm going to use it and move it somewhere else to be more appropriate. So then what I want to do here now is I just want to draw that image. I'm going to say ctx.draw image. And then we're going to say here, whatever the image source is, that's this one here. We just say image. And then here we're going to say, this will be the X, Y position. And I mean, uh, let's start with that first, or we can just leave it like this. If I save that, probably refresh, see if that works. Uh, fill to actually draw image because we are requiring more items. All right, so let's say here, this will be the X and Y, that will be the width and height. So let's say here 100, uh, sorry, this is the X and Y coordinates. We're going to work on the width and the height later on. So let's say we'll start at zero and then here at zero as well. Let's save that, refresh, there we are. So now this works, but it grabs the width and the height as well, specifically uh, from the image. But I don't want that because I want the image to be more flexible so we can play around with that. 
So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I have to move this to this corner here. I'm not satisfied with this. And if I'm not mistaken, that image has a little bit of uh, left and right padding here of uh, a few pixels. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm going to get this left here. The chart area starts here left. So let's grab that one. Put it in here. Let's save that. Refresh. And as you can see here, it has a little bit of a padding because that's the... Uh, adjustment here of this image so we could cut that away maybe we say here minus five pixels or just make sure you have an image that is saved a bit more appropriately compared to mine it's just a quick fix so anyway so then what i want to do is i want to move it down here as well to the very bottom uh, or sorry not to the very bottom i want to move it here to this point that is basically the top position it's this one here if i save this refresh there we are if i want to move this a little bit up i'm just going to deduct again a few pixels so let's say here five pixels save refresh all right maybe that should be uh, three pixels but you get the point all right so now we have this here what about the width and height well we could just get the width we can say here it'll be width and here's the height so what i can say here now the width of the image and the height of the image will be equal to the chart area save refresh there we are so apparently there is a few pixels space here so you can fine-tune that one but you can see here now what's going on so what is nice is that let's move this dining table to here what is the position of the or the coordinates of the dining table it is let's say 72 by 40 let's make that so this is 40 for the x and 72 for the y save refresh there we are that looks quite nice let's make it a little bit bigger so say a point radius equals maybe 15 pixels save there we are, that looks much better. Next one, what I want to do is I want to highlight, or oh, let's say here the toilet. 10 by 20 or 20x by 10y. So let's comma, then here 20x, and then y 10. And this will be, of course, toilet. Save that, refresh. There we are. All right, so this looks quite nice. What happened if I would change, <coughs> sorry, what happened if I would change the size of this image so i'm going to uh let's play around with the percentage you say here the width will only be 70 percent instead all right so that's quite big but if i move this the position of the image and the dots maintained with exception of course the thick or how big the dot is so another thing that we could do is let's start to change it we're going to say here Aspect ratio will be back to normal. Save, refresh. And there we are. We're still touching or pointing the toilet and the dining table. And we could do another one here. Let's say we make this 3 to 1. Let's see if this will even work. And there we are. It does work nicely. So this here allows you to play around with the image because it will just always be relative to the height and the width of the chart area.